and they will be surprised, yeah. You and me gonna rise up. Well, howdy back to my channel. Today is currently Friday and I am just cleaning up all of my stuff. I just filmed a bunch of videos. I'm actually about to head to the grocery store to grab some groceries. My sister is on her way here from Ottawa. She's actually taking the train up so I'm running to the grocery store to make sure that I have stocked food because you know when you have a guest usually you like to feed them and I have no groceries right now. And then when she gets here, we have a reservation at this place called Chibo in Toronto. It's a really cool wine bar and she's gonna be here for the whole weekend, which is super exciting because as you guys know, with Coz and with Utober, I have not had a social life and it is going to feel mighty good to take the weekend to kind of hang out with my sister and catch up and just like have some girl time. I also have really cool plans to do this like DIY in this vlog so definitely stay tuned to the end of the video for that because I'm assuming I'll do that Sunday night after she leaves. But in the meantime, let's run to the grocery store, let's go get food. The girls weekend, I feel like I should be like, oh girls just wanna have fun. Maybe I can find like a royalty free remix. I come home in the morning light. My mother says when you gonna live your life right. Oh my dear. She's here. Oh my, I look like a grub. Rezzo is at 10.15. Oh girls just wanna have fun. What you gonna do with your life? Oh, daddy dear, you know you're still number one. Oh, girls, they wanna have fun. Oh, girls, just wanna have. That's all they really want. Some fun. When the working day is done. So we just got back from the mall. We also went to Kensington. My hair is like, this was straight yesterday. This is just from like sweat and humidity. It's actually really, really hot out today. So I'm just gonna share with you guys like the few little things that I grabbed from the mall today. There's like a few things I needed to get in particular and then a few things that I kind of splurged on. The first place we went was Indigo and I needed to get a few notebooks. So this one is my video planning notebook that you guys saw on my desk tour, which you haven't seen. I'll pop up on the screen. The um, notebook that I used to plan out my videos in that is actually filling up. I think there's like two pages left. So I picked up a new one to plan videos. I also grabbed Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire because I finished the third one two weeks ago and I just finished Girl Boss yesterday. So this is the next book on my reading list for the fall. Then I have a notebook that I got for Coz and a little post-it note thing that has a bunch of different kinds of post-it notes. Next, we went to Bath and Body Works and the few things I got there are, I picked up a new body lotion because mine just ran out. I got the Birch and Argan and it smells so good. I wish there was like a scent cam where I could like put this up and you guys could actually smell it, but it smells so good. I picked up a hand lotion, the pumpkin, spice pumpkin cider. I couldn't choose between these two, so I decided to get like the mini version. And then I also picked up two candles. The first one, so many of you guys tweeted this candle at me and you guys were like, you need to get this. So I went and got it. And it says, but first coffee and the actual smell of this is coffee. And then I grabbed um, a second one. The second one I grabbed, I'm running out of a lot of my fall candles. I've been burning through them so fast. So I picked up autumn because I haven't grabbed this one yet this year. And this one's like my favorite fall one. The perfect mixture of leaves and apples. And then last but not least, we went to Sephora and I picked up two sets of lashes. They are these ones here. It is the Velour um, Lie Detector and Velour Fluff and Thick. The last thing I purchased was a new foundation. I got the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I'm in the color Medium 53. But yeah, that was like everything I got from the mall. Then we went to Kensington Market and had some tacos, which were top notch. Now we're gonna work on this like secret project we have that I haven't told you guys about yet and put on some face masks and then we're going to Planta tonight for dinner. So if you guys are from Toronto you might know of Planta but it's this really good um, vegan restaurant in Yorkville so we're heading there around 7 30. In the meantime cue some face masks. I look 
look like I have a beard. Guys, I put it on my eyebrows. That'd be funny to give myself a unibrow. Now I'm gonna have to rip out my eyebrows. Okay, maybe I'll just wipe it off my eyebrows before it dries. I'm making my hands a mess. Like, I love that they tell you to put a thick layer on, but then they don't give you enough to actually put a thick layer on. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be really hard to peel this off. There's like not very much on our faces. Somehow get the feeling I don't fit in. But I know that I'll be coming, coming home to you. And you know I'll be driving, driving home to you. So Kira is now gone, which is super sad. It was so fun having her up for the weekend. I haven't hung out with my sister like that in so long. So if I didn't vlog that much footage, I'm sorry. I'm like an oily potato chip right now. What the heck? As I was saying, I've been editing and sending out shipments and doing YouTuber videos and pre-planning all these things and like stock and inventory and all this stuff. And I freaking love doing it. Don't get me wrong, but it felt really nice to kind of just like decompress and hang out with my sister for like a day and a half and not like touch any of that. I already feel ready for tomorrow. Like tomorrow's Monday and I'm feeling ready for it. And now that she's gone, I feel like I'm just gonna spend the rest of my Sunday gisting. I actually did a whole like vlog style video on my Sunday routine, which I'll pop up on the screen. But in the meantime, that's kind of my plan right now. Cue the Sunday gist. I bet you're expecting a huge beat drop there and you know, a bunch of chores and gisting. Turns out my plans have changed. Greg ended up calling me on the way back from the cottage and asking if I wanted to grab some dinner and hang out, to which I replied yes. He's on his way to grab me. We're gonna go grab some sushi, maybe go see it in theaters, which I've heard is actually really good. Or watch Game of Thrones here because if you guys have been watching my vlogs lately, you probably recognize that we're quite obsessed right now. For my outfit, I'm wearing this sweater that I got from Aritzia. A skirt from Nordstrom. I won't be wearing these slippers out, but I'll probably switch the slippers for, you know, some booties. I just felt like it was time to milk some cows, and the sunset right now is like the most beautiful thing ever. This freaking glow we've got going on here. So instead of queuing, you know, chores and gisting, cue sushi. Before you came round, my heart would never be much faster. Before you came round, I was ready to slow down Before you came round I was heading for a small disaster Before you came round I was ready to blow me down So it is actually now a few days later. It's Thursday, I believe, and I just finished making my dream door with you guys ended up being the finished result. So I decided to put it on my laundry room door because it's in such a central part to my apartment that it's gonna be impossible like not to see it all the time. And if you guys watched my most recent Q&A, one of you guys asked how exactly to stay focused on your goals and your dreams 
And I honestly think that the easiest way and the best way to constantly stay inspired is to surround yourself with the types of things that you're trying to attract into your life and the things that you're working towards. Like, I don't know how much you guys believe in the law of attraction, but I have like this weird suspicion that it works. I'm a very visual person and so I like having things like up in front of my face and displayed to me, especially on days where I'm not feeling, you know, the greatest or days where you just kind of feel drained and you forget or lose sight of what it is that you're working towards. I feel like that's why I love dream board and like inspiration boards. It's kind of like an instant reminder of the things that are important to you and the things that you are striving for. And it can also kind of act as a reality check. Even just sitting down and having to ask myself like what are my goals, what are my dreams, and what pictures would dictate that, it becomes super apparent to you suddenly what you've been holding as a priority in your life and what you've kind of let slide. And while there's so many different ways to make a dream board, I decided to just print out pictures of things that inspired me in each photo to make sure that I wasn't choosing Using them for like aesthetic reasons and I used my notebook and wrote down for every single photo what that dream or goal was to me and it's now gonna be something that not only I'm gonna see all the time when I'm walking through my apartment but that I can also have as a list for those days where you're just so stressed and you're wondering like what the point of it all is plus it's just another list that I can just start checking off now even though it might take me you know quite a few years so I'm gonna leave in the description box just like a really easy point form of exactly what I did to make my dream board as well as link my we heart it which a lot of the images on there were from and if you guys decide to make a dream board definitely be sure to tag me on instagram and on twitter so that i can check it out and other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog hanging out with my sister this weekend was super fun there's so much coming up over the next little bit but i do have a bit of a sad announcement as we are officially one week away from utober that means today next week is day one like the first video and it just blows my mind one because i don't know how 2017 has gone so fast and two because i am so freaking excited for you guys to see all of the utober stuff this year it's it's going to be wicked. That said, I do have a quick announcement for you guys. Due to the volume and overwhelm, and also because I wanted to create just a little bit of a build up to Utober, I'm not gonna be posting any videos this week. So the next video you guys will actually see after this one is going to be Utober day one. So consider this the official one week countdown to Utober. In the meantime, be sure to check out my Twitter and my Instagram. I'm gonna be teasing a lot of Utober stuff this week. Everything from the video upload schedule to little things that you guys might see in all the videos. And aside from that, I will see all of you guys next Sunday. Bye guys.